Do you want to know how did Minchin add this to his OSD? Or maybe you want to know how I did this? Come on, let's go! Hey, Mr. Nice, I think they, they lost me. You can tell me now how to add your custom paint to his name. You can't tell anyone. Here we go. Oh, what's that? Who's there? Oh! Uh... <coughs> hey, Mr. Nice, Neil. Wake up! Uh, uh, who are you? You're about to find out. Uh... What do you want? Tell me how to get this custom OSD name. No. You tell me now. No. I won't have to no. hurt you with this. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Hey, Neil, what's happening? You hear me? You hear, Neil? Uh, hey. Uh, uh, what? Uh, we can do this no. all day no. until you no. give up Not the you info. Not you you're going to tell me how to set this custom OSD no. name or no. I'll make you watch this Fat Shark no. HD goggle release video no. forever. No. 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 Watch it. Watch it. Adding your custom drawing instead of your pilot name on analog OSD is quite easy. But even if you know how to do that, hold on for a minute because I got an updated font editor for you that simplifies workflow a little bit. Sorry DJ guys, this is only for analog and HD0 guys, I am pretty sure Carl will figure something out for you, if not yet. Another disclaimer, these steps are only for Windows. Probably there are some font editors for Max uh, 7456 OSD for Linux or for Mac, but I don't know, I have only Windows. So all you need to do is to modify a couple of characters in your favorite OSD font and then just upload it to OSD chip through Betaflight Configurator Font Manager. But you need to do it in the way that doesn't mess up other OSD features that you are using. The first step you need to do is to download Betaflight Configurator source code. I will leave a link in the description. And don't worry, you only need a couple of files from there, you don't need to modify source code or anything like that. So you open this page, click green code button and then download zip. Select where you want to download and there we go. Then you unzip this folder. and go to resources OSD second. Here you can find all the font files for standard Betaflight OSD fonts and also, which is uh, very nice, you have a preview images for all these fonts. Select your favorite font from here and copy it together with a preview image somewhere outside of the Betaflight source code. Now you need editor that is capable of modifying these MCM font files. I have tried a few open source ones and here is where I ended up, the link will be right there. It is pretty simple and gets the job done, but a little bit buggy and not super comfortable to use. I made a few modifications and fixes to this program so that it is a little bit more comfortable to use, the link is right there as well. But I am not an asshole, I am not going to call it I don't know, super ostrich font editor and act like it's a my program. Well, asshole, but probably in a different way. I made a pull request to modify the original repository, but before it gets merged, you can use my link to the release files. So you open this link, scroll a little bit down, open assets and then download Windows 32 or for Windows 64. And then you might need to click keep here, then unzip. And then don't forget to check this file for viruses, for just in case. I like to use virustotal.com, you just drag and drop your exe file and then you can see only one vendor detected something and all the others are green, so 
I think that's just false positive. 32-bit version check shows four vendors found something, but it's still four out of like 70. And you can see the big ones like Microsoft, like Kaspersky, like McAfee didn't find anything. Then there's Avast, they didn't find anything. So I think, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. I think that's false positive. We're already going above and beyond with these security checks. I don't even know why. I don't usually do that, but if you want, you can check here that this application reaches these two web servers and the first one is Microsoft and you see nobody detected it as a dangerous web server and the second one is uh, like a big um, cloud and security company and also nobody detected this web server as dangerous. But you know, we're all doing it our, at our own risk. When you download something from online you are by yourself. To be extra safe, I checked the files that I compiled and the original files with Avast and also AVG, and it's all clear. Amateur cybersecurity lecture is over. Let's get back to our OSD. Start the font editor application and uh, open the MCM font file that we previously copied from Betaflight Configurator. If you start this application for the first time, it might ask you to install .NET Framework, and this is totally fine, just go ahead and install it. Now it's time to figure out which symbols you can modify without messing up all of the rest of your OSD. The easy way is to just modify a couple of letters, well, or all of them, so they look a little bit more fancy or silly. So on the left side you select, for example, L letter, and then you select the color, white, black, or this will be a transparent color. And then just, you know, start painting something. Just whatever. I don't know what is that, but there we go. Don't forget to click save character when you're done modifying the symbol. And at the end, don't forget to save the whole font, save or save as. But let's do something a little bit more interesting. You can see here there are some symbols that are rarely used and we can put them in the craft name or display name on OSD. I found these symbols that are working properly for both display name and craft name, but Minchin for example uses these symbols. You can see he uses end symbol which is being used in some places in OSD menu, but you know this is not very critical. The question mark is also a little bit weird. You cannot use it for a display name, only for craft name. This is not a big deal if you are not planning to make two row pictures and use both craft name and display name, but we are going to. First of all, decide how big of a picture you want to have as your pilot, I guess it's a name. It can be two rows or one row and it can be pretty wide. For this example, I'm gonna do like a 2x2 two two picture and first we need to assign the symbol. So click on the first one and then click the first symbol from that list was this one. And then the next one, I think it was a comma. And then here, let's use, uh, I don't know, at. And here, let's use uh, equal sign. Then connect your flight controller, open CLI and type set name equal and then we need to basically copy these signs let's see this is this and this and then also for display name it's add an equal sign set display name equal add like this and then save then open osd tab and activate craft name and then display name and make sure you put them in the correct order the first goes craft name and then goes display name and you can see here display name is not being uh, shown correctly but that's all right and then click save it's also worth opening font manager and select the font we are modifying not the new one but the old one i selected impact so let's upload this font after all these manipulations, you should see something like that in your goggles. It is not very exciting yet. Now, finally, it is time for some art. Well, obviously, I am not very good at that. So the right panel is only for preview and you should always remember which cell is selected here. Because if you select a wrong cell and here you select a wrong character, then you will just mess up your preview. And then you will have to guess like, hold on, which symbol was here? So don't do that. The left panel is for selecting which symbol you want to modify right now. So let's start from the top left corner. Let's select top left corner and then let's select this symbol. 
Now you can select the color, remember blue is transparent and you can start, start modifying. And you can see it's being updated on the right side, which is a feature of the modified version of this program. Now let's draw, for example, I don't know, Mr. Nice. So let's erase this one. And start with the part of his head. I think that's pretty good. Let's make this all in white. Like that. It's a good idea to click save character and also save your font time to time. So, but let's keep the art moving. Now I select the top right side, which is comma, and then I select comma here, and then just keep painting. And there we go, Mr. Nice himself. You can select here like show or hide grid. So it's a little bit more easier to see what's going on. Now it's time to save it. And then open Betaflight Configurator, open Font Manager, and then open Font File. There we go. Then just find that file. And you can see here, this is our art right here and then click upload font this is very important and sometimes some flight controllers require a battery to do that so for whatever reason they don't power up osd chip or i don't know what's happening so if this doesn't work for you try to power your drone not just with usb but also with a battery of course with the props off and we are done custom logo is ready look at that mr nice himself right there on the screen you might notice that here in Betaflight Configurator nothing is updating and this is fine, this is just a preview, it is not using your custom fonts, it can use only like the standard fonts and, and that's it. And of course you can always add your real pilot name next to this picture. So you can see display name is at equal and so we can just do this. And then space Mr. Nice and then save. And this is what we have now. So we went from this to this. I think that's pretty cool. See you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. Time for your punishment. Huh? What are you doing with me here? Who are you? What do you want me to do to you? <laughs> Wake up! Stop! <laughs> Stop like a porno! You better watch it, you dirty wanker! <laughs>